Good morning. 714 2013 722 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is a chart of the Dow. What I am going to show is the weekly right now. This is where the Dow was up here at the highs on the week of 520 at 15,542. The current high that we just have rallied up to is 15,498. <clears throat> Back in that period of time, we had called for a correction in the Dow. And we had it. One, two, third week down, fourth week, fifth week, six weeks to the low. And a lot of that was based on Ben Bernanke and them pulling out the stimuluses on their bond purchases. Fed's fund rates overnight, they're not going to be raising those rates overnight. Now, the 10-year had gone straight up to 2.68. It was this last week in this big bar, this biggest part of the movement of this weekly bar, is when Ben Bernanke and the FOMC minutes had come out, and he tried to reassure the markets because the markets had tanked. So the bulls had three parabolic straight-up weeks in a row to the major resistance. Now, one of the things that we're tra uh, telling our traders worldwide, sell into the rallies. Sell into it. Earnings season starts in full bloom on 7-15 of 2013. At that time, there's going to be an extreme amount of volatility in price. Some of these companies in the Dow and the S&P 500 particularly had already given warnings in the last quarterly earnings the quarter the previous quarter they have marked down estimates which is fine and the growth that we're going to experience in some of these companies like UPS came out on Friday that was a major Dow component and it missed its earnings and it went straight down Boeing was another one because of the airplanes in the Dow. So there are 30 stocks in the Dow. They're all going to be reporting in the earnings season. We're going to pick them off one at a time. We're approaching 100% overbought. Remember, it only takes 30 stocks to get back up to the highs for the bull. But the bull is going to have to deal with many variable factors. Lower growth. Their price to perfection. They've already ran up and anticipation. Anticipation means that if they were going to beat their revised earnings that they had marked down from the previous quarter, and at the current price level in each individual stock, it's priced to perfection. So anything that they could have said or are going to say coming up in this quarterly earnings is already priced into the market. Be smart. Knock, knock. Who's home? who's there just remember there's a time to take profits get back on the sideline let these companies report pick off the good ones and let it be shown remember when you're going into a major economic quarterly reporting session is you, you would rather have stocks lower than higher and the old way of doing business on Wall Street is buy in anticipation then sell the news. So the Dow Jones, I, I show it on a weekly level. I'll show it quickly on a daily level. Here are those tops where those corrections started. We have all of the data on the SMF, stockmarketfunding.com website, about why it was going to correct. And what we're going to tell people is that this wall of resistance is called a big bull counter bull run. It's a bigger bull run in a shorter time frame than the whole calendar year was this particular when we had this correction, when we rallied up, that was much more intensive in the Dow than the original bull that started in the first trading day of January 2013. So we get into the middle part of the year with the correction, and that bull comes back much, much more intensive, much stronger. And it's all the reason why the people, if you're sitting on the sideline and you haven't gotten involved in the market, it's time for you to get back in. Call us at stockmarketfunding.com.